This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Sky Island by L. Frank Baum. Chapter 29 Trot Regulates the Pinkies. The Pinkies were rejoiced to find themselves again in their beloved land of sunrises and sunsets. They sang and shouted with glee, and the band uncovered its pink instruments and played the national pink anthem, while the parrot flew from Trot's shoulder to Cap'n Bill's shoulder and back again, screaming ecstatically. Hooray! We're through the wetful fogs, where the elephant scared the fretful frogs. There was a magnificent sunset in the sky just then, and it cheered the pinkies and gave them renewed strength. Away they hastened across the pink fields to the pink city, where all the pink people who had been left behind ran out to welcome them home again. Trot and Button Bright, with Cap'n Bill and Rosalie the Witch, went to the humble palace, where they had a simple supper of coarse food and slept upon hard beds. In the houses of the city, however, there was much feasting and merrymaking, and it seemed to Trot that the laws of the country which forbade the queen from enjoying all the good things the people did were decidedly wrong and needed changing. The next morning Rosalie said to the little girl, Will you make Tourmaline the queen again when you go away? I'll send for her and see about it, replied Trot. But when Tourmaline arrived at the palace, dressed all in lovely fluffy robes, and with a dainty pink plume in her pink hair, she begged most earnestly not to be made the queen again. I'm having a good time just now, after years of worry and uncomfortable living in this uncomfortable old hut of a palace, said the poor girl. It would be cruel for you to make me the servant of the people again, and condemn me to want and misery. That seems reasonable, replied Trot thoughtfully. Rosalie's skin is just as light a pink as my own, continued Tourmaline. Why don't you make her the queen? I hadn't thought of that, said Trot. Then she turned to Rosalie and asked, How would you like to rule the pinkies? I wouldn't like it, replied the witch with a smile. The queen is the poorest and most miserable creature in all the kingdom, and I'm sure I don't deserve such a fate. I've always tried to be a good witch and do my duty. Trot thought this over quite seriously for a time. Then one of her quaint ideas came to her, so quaint that it was entirely sensible. "'I'm the queen of the pinkies just now, am I not?' she asked. "'Of course,' answered Rosalie. "'None can dispute that. "'Then I've the right to make new laws, haven't I?' "'I believe so.' "'In that case,' said the girl, "'I'm going to make a law that the queen shall have the same food "'and the same dresses and the same good times that her people have, "'and she shall live in a house just as good as the houses of any of her people, "'and have as much money to spend as anybody, but no more. "'The queen can have her share of everything, according to the new law, "'but if she tries to get more than her share, "'I'll have the law say she shall be taken to the edge and pushed off.' "'What do you think of that law, Rosalie?' "'It's a good law, and a just one,' replied the witch, approvingly. "'So Trot sent for the royal scribbler, who was a very fat pinky, "'with large pink eyes and curly pink hair, "'and had him carefully write the new law in the great book of laws. "'The royal scribbler wrote it very nicely in pink ink, "'with a big capital letter at the beginning and a fine flourish at the end.' After Trot had signed her name to it as queen, she called all of the important people of the land to assemble in the court of the statues, and ordered the royal declaimer to read to them the new law. The Pinkies seemed to think it was a just law, and much better than the old one, and Rosalie said, Now no one can object to becoming the queen, since the ruler of the Pinkies will no longer be obliged to endure suffering and hardships. All right, said Trot. In that case, I'll make you the queen, Rosalie, for you've got more sense than Tourmaline has, and your powers as a witch will help you to protect the people. At once she made the announcement, telling the assembled pinkies, that by virtue of her high office as queen of Sky Island, she would leave Rosalie the witch to rule over the pink country, while she returned to the earth with her friends. As Rosalie was greatly loved and respected, the people joyfully accepted her as their queen, and Trot ordered them to tear down the old hut and build a new palace for Rosalie, one which would be just as good as any other house in the city, but no better. 
she further ordered a pink statue of tourmaline to be set up in the court and also a pink statue of herself so that the record of all the rulers of the pinkies should be complete the people agreed to do all this as soon as possible and some of the leaders whispered together and then asked coralie to be their spokesman in replying to queen trot's speech coralie stood on a chair and made a bow after which she thanked trot in the name of the pinkies for leading them safely into the blue country and out again and for giving them so good a queen as rosalie the pinkies would be sorry to have their new friends the earth people leave them but asked the queen of sky island to carry with her the royal band of pink gold which she now wore upon her brow together with the glistening pink jewel set in its centre it would remind her coralie declared of the beautiful land of sunset and sunrise and of the fact that the pinkies would always be glad to welcome her back trot knew she would never return to sky island but she did not tell them that she merely thanked coralie and the pinkies and said they might all come to the court after dinner and see her and her comrades fly away through the sky End of chapter 29